Hi there, my name's Chris and at the time of this recording I am a fourth year math student at York, uh, so I'm on the MMath programme and it's my job today to sort of just tell you about student life at York I guess and give you that sort of different angle and uh, I guess the best way I thought of doing that is to show you a load of photos of me uh, sort of enjoying myself. But uh, a little disclaimer is that most of these photos were taken before March 2020, uh, so that's why we might be a little bit closer than you would be expecting. So hopefully you've sort of kind of figured out or seen that a maths degree has got all these different things that kind of come together, like lectures, seminars, tutorials, practicals. However, I'm a big believer that there's a lot more to offer to a maths degree, and certainly at York, there's a lot more that makes up a maths degree. So, you know, the city and the campus, the stick stims and support and college system, which may be unfamiliar terms, so I'll go into them a little bit later. There's the sports clubs, there's the societies, and there's the students' union. Basically, all this with the academic content makes up a maths degree at York. And so in a sort of mini trilogy, I'm going to take you through all these different things. So to start off with, the city and the campus. And as promised, there's lots of photos of me having fun in the sunshine, um, which is a little disclaimer. York is not normally as sunny as it looks in these photos. We do get a lot of rain, but you can't expect a lot else from Yorkshire. So the city has so much to offer. We've got Betty's Tea Rooms, the Minster, the York Walls, the Shambles with the shop that must not be named, you know, sort of the Harry Potter vibe of York, that there's just so much to go and do. And just because as a student in York, doesn't mean you can't go and do all the touristy stuff as well. You know, you can still go and visit the Vikings at the Yorvik Centre. It's really great. And the even better thing about York is that it's really well linked. So you've got great train links kind of all over to the, the south, the west coast. It, you know, it's really easy to get to other places from York and to get to York. But more importantly, once you're in York, there's a really great bus system. And so you can easily get from the campus to the city and vice versa using the 66. There's a free campus shuffle, the UB1 or UB2, which kind of gets you around campuses uh, because York is kind of one big campus out in Hesington, but there are sort of a mini separation and I'll show you a little bit of that later. So really York kind of doesn't give you an excuse not to go and enjoy it as much as you can. Once you've got from the city and kind of come onto the campus, you might be wondering what's there. And so I thought I'd show you some of the highlights here. So in the top left hand corner, uh, you've got the university library and that is kind of your uh, obviously one stop shop to books, but it's also got so many sort of um, study spaces, which is really great. On the side of that photo, there's Fairhurst on one side, uh, which is kind of like a collaborative learning space with writable walls and bean bags and all sorts of great stuff. And then the other side is Morel. And the sort of joke about Morel is that you normally find the third years in there who need absolute silence when they're doing their final year projects and dissertations. Aside from that, we've also got some stuff over on Heslington East. So even if you live on Heslington East, you're not sort of having to trek over to the library. There's the Piazza building in the top right hand corner. And this is a building where it has a mini library, lots of study spaces, a cafeteria, kind of really anything you can need. In the bottom left hand corner, there's Market Square. So that is your sort of one stop shop to everything and anything. It's got a hairdresser's, it's got a yeah, sort of Nisa, which is a food shop. It's got the bank, it's got all the clothing and gift stores you need. And more importantly, it's got the information center as well. So if ever you have a question and you don't know who to ask it to, you can go to the information center, which is really great. In the bottom right hand corner, it's a little bit more of a special photo to me. So uh, this is a place called Greg's Place, uh, kind of centre of campus, which is really great because they kind of do movie screening sometimes or you find people having picnics out there a lot of the time. Um, but that photo there is the day that I decided to come to York. So I came to York through clearing and I wasn't sure whether to go. And my teacher at school said, oh, I'll go to York, go to York. And I was like, I'm not sure. And she was like, no, go to York now. So on my results day, I ended up driving over to York met someone from the maths department, had a little wander around the campus, and it was as I kind of reached the end of my campus tour, I guess, that I was taking myself on, that I got to Greg's place and I figured, yeah, I'd be happy here. And that photo was taken a couple of minutes after that moment, so kind of it was something that really sits with me. Of course, we also then have our big main building, Central Hall, which is colloquially known as the Spaceship. Central Hall is a great place, it's where you graduate, uh, there's lots of different things. We have York's Got Talent in there once a year, there really is sort of lots going on in the York campus and lots to enjoy. So say you've come to the university and you've sort of seen the campus, seen what's going on, you might be wondering what kind of support is there going on and what are the colleges like? And so I thought I'd take you through some of the things that York is quite unique on. And the first one of those are sticks. So that's a second third year contact. 
and lots of colleges have lots of sticks and kind of get a different college color based on which college you're in i'll explain what a college is in a moment um but as you can see here some sticks are from a couple of years ago sort of enjoying moving in day because the main purpose of a stick is to kind of help you move in so literally in in years without covid we'd grab your stuff and help you take it to your room um, but now it's kind of just making sure that you're settled in, helping you out, uh, making sure you know where to go, what things you have to attend. Basically, the, the role of a stick is to make sure you don't die during Freshers' Week. Um, so they are pretty useful because they've been through it all themselves. Past those sticks, we then have lots of other things. We have STIMs, that's second, third year mentors, and they're basically there to carry on the role of a stick, but throughout the whole year. So just a friendly face that you can always chat to if you want to talk to another student. There's Night Safe. Night Safe are a group of students, uh, which I volunteer with myself, where we sort of just look after people on nights out who find themselves in unfortunate circumstances. You have a subject supervisor, you have the math support group. These are really integral parts of the department which allow you to access pastoral support and not just academic support within the department. There's open door, you know, we're very aware that we are in a student mental health crisis and the university have funded specialists who you can talk to and um, they're counsellors and they're really great and sort of you can just get the support you need. There's college managers, so even on your college level you still belong in your college after your first year and they're sort of like the, the strange primary school head who happens to know everyone's name somehow. Um, then finally there's the Together Roll and that was launched this year and that's a big anonymous online space with lots of well-being and health tips around mental health which is just really great to see I think. I mentioned colleges and basically you, you live in your college in your first year you can think of it like accommodation but with loads of extra bonus features pretty much and here's me on my move-in day to Alquin so I was in Alquin College and I promise you I was not reading a textbook immediately when I moved in but my dad insisted that I did the whole photo shoot so in your college you obviously get a room, you get a kitchen that you share, there's a common room which is quite familiar to sort of sixth form and colleges I guess. Then there's also the circuit laundry as well so you can also do all your laundry and everything within your college. And on campus there are currently uh, nine colleges, so across the top Umbra, Derwent, Alcuin, Goodrick, Constantine, and across the bottom Wentworth which is a graduate owned college so you can kind of not bother with that one, James, Halifax and Langwith. And as you can see, at the time of this, uh, I've kind of put a little circle on the map, and that's really exciting because there's actually new colleges being built. York is expanding, and they're currently running a survey for students to kind of put in what name they think it should be called. Um, so by the time you guys get here, or, or potentially even when you're already here, um, that college will be built, and that will be exciting. So I've talked a lot about support and the colleges and the campus itself. But you might be wondering, what about activities? What can I do other than my maths degree? And so I thought I'd talk a little bit about the student union and all that sort of stuff. And I promise you, I do not normally look that moody when I'm playing badminton, but I think I was just caught a rogue moment when I was watching a game. So the York University Students' Union, USU, uh, is made up of lots of students, you know, everyone's part of the union, but five students take their time out each year uh, to kind of get involved and basically make the student experience better. We have a president, a sports president, a community and wellbeing officer, academic officer and activities officer. And the really cool thing about Matt and Brian on this slide is that they studied alongside me. You know, they were both fellow math students and they decided they wanted to go and work for USU and make the student experience better. And there's so much to do. I, you know, I sort of sit on the York Sport Union Committee, which is part of USU, and we did Movember last year. You can probably see that I'm sporting my tash this year as well for Movember. And so USU kind of offers you lots and lots of different activities. They kind of overall manage everything. And that includes all the 63 sports clubs that we have. And we have all the conventional sort of things like badminton, football, netball, rugby, swimming. But there's loads of other great things that you might have not heard of, like octopus, handball, parkour, mountaineering. These are all things that you can get involved with. Um, even with no experience whatsoever. And the really great thing is that with sports at York, there's the varsity tournament that we play against Durham. This is where you kind of play in colleges. And then there's also the Big Roses, which is the largest European varsity tournament. And this is played against Lancaster a whole weekend. And it's a really cool event that you can get involved in. If sports aren't your thing, then don't worry. We still have 210 societies and 16 volunteering projects that you can get involved in. And this is stuff like MathSoc. Um, you know, MathSoc really runs some great events. I'm on the social secretaries and we run some socials, some competitions, some formals. It's really fun. There's also the Baking Society. And if you hear me out, you get like all your ingredients provided for you for five pounds a year. And I think that's a pretty good investment in cake, if you ask me. There's also loads of volunteering stuff like Hedgehogs on Campus, Nightline, which is an anonymous listing service run by students for students, and Tea and Coffee Club. So there really is sort of lots of different things. And I am a big believer in getting involved in as much as possible, you know, because it's very easy to kind of get yourself caught up in your degree and sort of only focus on the maths. But it's important as a student, certainly at York and studying maths, that you have some time to do other things. 
And so I thought I'd share with you my York map and feel free to pause this to have a little read through, but I wouldn't expect you to be able to read through it all at once. Um, but this just shows you that I've really made sort of every opportunity I've been given mine. And I would very much urge you the same, no matter where you end up, whether that is at York, whether that's somewhere else, to really look for every single opportunity because at university you get the chance to do so much and you'll never get that chance again. Um, and I guess as well, that I've sort of been doing my degree as well, um, which is, it is, is the main key thing about being at university, but with all the other added extras. And I thought I could summarise this whole sort of what I'm saying up in a quote. And this is a quote by Cantor that says, the essence of mathematics lies in its freedom. And I, I, I think what I'm trying to say, and I guess what I'm trying to say is that at York, you really have the freedom to do what you like whilst you're studying maths. And that's something quite unique, I think, to York. Thank you.